Hello, my friends, and welcome to the first episode of Biking to Burning Man. I wanted to do a little preview video of what we're about to do, and I said we. Oh, yes, I'm not going alone. Usually, I do these rides completely on my own, but this ride. I'm bringing along two of my favorite people in the entire galaxy, my good man Michael Brown and Dana Gerritschweiler. Actually, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. I just call her Dana D. They are two very, very special people to me and to the community of Boulder, and I'm really excited to share the magic of what it's like to go on a bike tour with them. They've, neither of them have ever done a bike tour, so this is going to be so much fun. Um, Michael Brown is a badass. He's a world-class mountaineer. He's been up Everest five times, so he knows what the pain cave feels like. Dana is just pretty much superwoman. She can do everything and she can do it well. She was borderline world-class runner, so she's got the legs and she's got the mental capacity to go. And when I say go, I mean we're going for it. We're going about 1,100 miles in 10 days, so it's a little over 100 miles a day, straight into the damn desert. It's gonna be hot. I know it's gonna be hot. Everybody's warning me. It's okay. We're gonna be okay. Cause look, I'm gonna bring seven gallons of water. I got this new bike rack and I'm just gonna put this right, right there. We're gonna be well hydrated. Just kidding. Somebody else is gonna bring this. That's for Burning Man. That's later on. But I'm super excited and I've never done a video where I kind of show the gear that I'm gonna bring and we're gonna try to go as light as possible because the heavier your bike is, the more it sucks to ride that bike. <laughs> so we're gonna start with food. People are always like, oh, you must bring, oops, sorry. People are always like, you must bring tons of food on these rides. And no, not really. You buy food as you go, because food weighs a lot. But there are some items that I always have along with me for emergency situations. Number one, a pack of tortillas, a can of beans, peanut butter, and jelly, and hot sauce. It may seem like a little bit you know, extraordinate to bring, extraordinate? That's a nice word, isn't it? To bring hot sauce, but it's, I love it. You're in the middle of nowhere, you're starving, a little hot sauce on those beans makes life just so good. A few cliff bars to hide in all the bags, but that's pretty much it on the food. We'll bring it as we go. And our bodies are gonna be burning about, I'd say five to 7,000 calories a day. So we're gonna be eating a lot. So yeah, get ready Dana for a lot of ice cream. I'm going to bring two extra bike tubes, tire irons, because who doesn't love tire irons? This is where you might think, oh, Ryan, that's gross, but it's not gross. I'm going to bring only one chamois. This is to pad my booty. Only one of these. I will wash it every night if I'm in a hotel or by a river or in a gas station. And I'll bring one of these. This is a really cool brand called Eleven Pine. My buddy Jeff in Boulder, shout out, Eleven Pine, brand new. So it's kind of like casual, woo woo, I'm just casual. And when you want to ride your bike, you do this. You zip them down and then bam, you've got like the tightness you want, the performance of spandex. And then you, you're like, oh, I want to go into this little cafe and not offend all these people in small town America with my junk right there. You make them loose again. It's awesome. I love it. Two shirts. I will wear one of these while riding and the other one at nighttime and I'll swap them, wash them every night in the sink. This is a really cool brand called Zoic. You might notice I'm giving lots of shout outs. These are all brands that I love to work with. They're all pretty small brands. I believe in them. None of them pay me to say this stuff. I just love them. So Zoic, maybe I'll put a link to all this stuff down here so you can check it out for yourself. This is another local company called Rico Fit. Thank you, Susie, Boulder Company. You put these on your arms so you look like a badass NBA player, but uh, they're UV. We're gonna be in the desert. It's gonna block all that bad, bad UV rays. And it has this magic formula in here called Exilitol or something. The stuff that's in bubble gum. And it actually cools your arms as you ride. Little sleeping bag, C to Summit. You want to go light. Sleeping pad. This is by a cool brand called Climate. Really, really awesome. It weighs less than a pound. These babies have been through a lot. These are my bike sandals. And I wear sandals when it's hot because when you wear shoes, your feet get so hot and you're just stinking up socks every single day. So I wear these sandals. I don't even pack any socks. Uh, and they're bike sandals, so they clip into the pedals. 
so you still get that power when you're going uphill. You can click right in. Those are Keen sandals. Marmot, lightweight tent. Dana and I are going to be cuddling a lot. I think Michael Brown has his own contraption. This is handy. Legs after a long day. Oh God, it hurts so bad. You want this to just roll it out. This is my tripod, very light, but I'll put it up on the side of the road and film us as we ride by so it looks like we have a camera crew. Tricks of the trade. This is another cool local boulder company called Dinkum System, John Manns. I'm gonna clip this to my handlebars every now and then and get some POV shots with my Sony action cam. Oh, I haven't even talked to you about my bicycle. This, my friends, is the new Trek 920. It's beautiful, it's made for like Hardcore bike touring. I used it on Ragbri. It was awesome. It has four water bottle cages. I usually bring a camelback type thing, but this time I'm going just free. Camelbacks just like make your arms hurt so bad by the end of the day. So I'm gonna bring four big water bottles. The bike. Usually I also have a trailer. This is the first time I'll go without a trailer. I'm going with the panniers, and these panniers are my favorite. It's my cool friends at Green Guru, another Boulder company. They make these panniers out of recycled bike tubes. They're so cool. They're pretty much waterproof. They hold a lot. They actually turn into a backpack. You can take it off your bike or leave, put a backpack on. So that will be my pannier. I have my Green Guru bag up front. I have my helmet. Duh, you gotta have a helmet. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Two shirts. I'll bring one warmish layer for nighttime. The desert does get warm. And oh, this is, this is a, this is amazing right here. I might just wear this while I'm riding. This is my pink tutu. I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to bring this on the ride, but it is coming to bring, man. I'm going to run the marathon in it. Cool, can't wait. I'm really excited about this because I love bike touring. I love seeing the world on the seat of a bicycle. I love where it brings me. I love pushing myself mentally and physically. And what I'm really excited about on this ride is sharing it with Michael and Dana. Like I said, I usually do this alone and I'm so excited for them to see the magic of bike touring and camping under the stars and just pushing yourself all day long and the joys of a good meal after riding a hundred miles and the people that you meet in the middle of nowhere and just the road magic that happens when you're out there. I'm psyched. So we're going a thousand miles in 10 days to Burning Man and I'm really excited for Burning Man as well because you know who's going to meet me there? my mom and my brother. I've always wanted to share this with some of my family and they are coming and it's gonna be awesome. Z Xantha is also going, my brother's girlfriend Melissa and all my other crazy Burning Man friends are gonna be there, 70,000 people. And I think it's gonna be a great journey into Burning Man. Burning Man for me isn't just a giant raging party. For me it's like, it's this transformational, awesome, healing, mind-bending experience where you see the best of humanity. You stand and look at artwork and you're like, God, I love humans, you're so cool, how did you do that? There's so much passion out there and that's why I love it. And we're gonna bring it. We are gonna bring it on these bikes. I can't wait. If you wanna follow along, check out my Facebook, my Instagram feeds, pretty much anything on social media. I'm not gonna be bringing a computer. I'm not gonna be editing videos as I go. So the best way to follow our journey is probably Facebook. We're gonna be doing some live updates. We're gonna be having a lot of fun. So follow me or Dana or Michael. And when I get back from the trip, then I'll edit together some fancy videos, but uh, not while we're on the road. I'm gonna be focused on just enjoying the ride. So we'll see you out there. I love you guys. I love you. Bye.